All right, uh, Shalom. Before I start, we give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahshai, Bahashim, Rakhak Kurash, Dev Honors to the Apostles, and Elder Millstone. Uh, peace, blessings, and salutations to all like Akim. Walk, uh, walk, learning, teaching, and truth and sincerity. And, and uh, there's going to be another video to the Spirit. I was thinking on something uh, earlier, and it's. Uh, I came across a certain video. I can't even remember it, but you know, basically, as you you can see from the title, all right, how I'm gonna title it. All right, it says at first you were glad, uh, then you were sad, and now you're mad. All right, and that's concerning, you know, coming to this truth. All right, I'm gonna be starting with the scripture uh, in Ezekiel. You know, brothers may know where I'm going, but now that basically you know this truth, all right, you may have been in it for some time. You should be mad now, all right? This is not party, happy time. This is not fucking uh, comfort. Uh, this is not a comfortability time, all right? This is our hell. We want to see our Lord and Savior return. We want to see uh, the downfall of our enemies, all right? The restoration of our nation. Those that are wicked among our nation, all right, get purged out, all right? So if I'm going to start with this uh, Ezekiel chapter 3. It says, moreover... He said unto me, Son of man, eat that thou findest, eat this roll, and go, speak unto the house of Israel. So I opened my mouth, and he caused me to eat that roll. And he said unto me, Son of man, cause thy belly to eat, and fill thy bowels with this roll that I give thee. Then did I eat, uh, then did I eat it, and it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. All right, and this and the roll basically represents the scriptures. All right, it's, it was you know he actually ate a roll, but this is a uh, spiritual talk for him receiving the word, all right, and, and devouring it, all right, taking it, taking it in and understanding it. And notice he, you know, he was sent to speak unto the nation of Israel, all right, and that's what that's what happens, you know, when you first get it, all right. Then it says uh, at the end of three it says, then did I eat it, and it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. So when you first receive this truth, all right, you're glad it's sweet. All right, sweetness when you're eating something that's sweet. What emotions come? All right, happiness, euphoria, uh, gladness, excitement, all right, exhilaration. You get that damn sugar rush, which brothers need to be careful with all the amount of sugar you eat in any goddamn way, because all this shit is, all these high processed foods are garbage, all right. But <laughs> when you eat something that's sweet, all right, it's 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 pleasurable unto you, and that's what this truth is. You learn who you are. All right, you learn some of the, the things in the past, things that you were lied to about. All right, well, uh, what the end game is gonna be, things like that. Uh, verse four, and he said unto me, "Son of man, uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Uh, actually, I'm going to uh, jump now." Let me double check. Kind of, okay, yep. Yeah. So now I'm going to jump to Revelation uh, 10 and 9. So basically when you first uh, receive this truth, you know, it makes you glad. It makes you happy. All right, you're trying to tell everybody that's around you. You're telling everybody and their grandmama. All right, you're telling the 10 motherfuckers that look like you. You're telling, you're, you, you spread the word. All right, Ezekiel, uh, hmm. I mean, it's not, not Ezekiel, uh, Revelation. Let me double check something, though. So, uh, okay, yeah, uh, Revelation uh, 10 and 9, it says, and this is, you know, John, uh, uh, John the Revelator. It says, uh, and I went unto the angel and said unto him, give me the little book. Uh, and he said unto me, take it and eat it up and it shall make thy belly bitter. But in, but it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey. And I took the little book out of the angel's hand and ate it up. And it was in my mouth sweet as honey. And as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter, all right, and that's the transition period. When you first receive it, all right, it's good and it's sweet unto you. You're trying to tell everybody, 
Or you're trying to wake everyone up. And then you start to realize things. Now you go from the glad era, uh, era to the sad era. You're like, damn, wait a minute. Why am I catching hell for this? You try to tell your mom, your mom curse you out. You try to tell your pops, pops curse you out. You try to tell your blood brother, your blood brother curse you out. You try to tell your friends, they curse you out and stop messing with you. You might have a, uh, your woman, you try to tell her she gone. So now the sadness kicks in. All right, why? Because, and let me get this in the scripture. And basically, you know, this is what you're, what you're going to go through when you're coming to this truth. And if you didn't, uh, if you didn't progress through these motions when you receive this truth, then more than likely, you know, hey, that's because you got certain Israelites. They're still stuck on the first phase, so they, their level of understanding isn't going anywhere. They still think it's party time. You have the brother from, and I forget his name, the Assidians DMV channel. He just did the video. All right, you got them niggas in IUIC. They fucking 100 deep with microphones like this, rapping and bumping and shit. Like we in the kingdom. Rap, rapping and bumping. All right, now this is one thing, you know. Hey, look. Bro, everyone's going to get together and... You know, eat, go and drink, you know, try to uh, ease the pain. But that's not what you, that's not what you upload to YouTube. That has nothing to do with edification. All right. That's not what, if you do that, that's something you, you don't, you, you don't put that on camera. Like, what the fuck? This, he told, he told, uh, just staring at Ezekiel. The angel told him, he said, eat this roll and go speak to the children of Israel. He, he didn't say eat this roll and party like it's 1999, my nigga. And he handed him a, a fucking a thing of Barcardi and everybody, Ezekiel was in that bitch bumping it. No, it didn't fucking go down like that. Not too long after, Ezekiel's wife died because of the wickedness of the two-thirds of the nation of Israel. All right? You have to progress. You have to go through all the steps. So ultimately, and we're going to get it. So you can get to the final step, which is being mad. That bitterness that it keeps talking about. When something is bitter, that's that's not something you want to be under for long. All right. When something's when some if bitter food sits in your mouth, you immediately want to spit it out. All right. If something smells bitter, you don't want you hurry up. You want to get out, get away from it. If something is uh, pungent, all right, or repugnant to you. You don't want to fucking smell it, and that's hey. I'm gonna get this scripture first. And a lot of Jake, they didn't go through all the right stages. A lot of Jake is still in party mode. Uh, fringes on my t-shirts, burgers and fringes, hair wraps, and uh, hose and hair wraps, music videos, uh, uh, merchandise and this truth, selling shit. That's not what this is about. Uh, Ecclesiastes 1 and uh, 17, it says, And I gave my heart to know wisdom. And to know madness and folly. And I perceive that this also is a vexation of spirit. For in much wisdom is much grief. And he that increaseth knowledge increaseth sorrow. So that's the transition from the first stage to the second. You go from the glad to the sad. Why? Because the more you start to understand this word, the sadder you get. The, you get to see, you truly see this world for what it is. These goddamn devils are over us. The rest of these heathens are over us. Our people are fucking... Dumber than a damn pig trying to jump off the Mount Everest and fly. All right, the animals understand their role in life better than the average Israelite, so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, and confusion of face scattered. All right, the fucking ant understands that it has its ant life duties that it must fulfill, no matter what. More than what an Israelite understands, they're supposed to serve. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, no matter what, uh, no matter what. That's where that sorrow comes in. You start looking around, you're like, damn, I'm the only, everybody else is a fucking idiot. And even with other Israelites that know they're Israelites, a lot of you are fucking idiots. You have these words and you simply don't understand them. The spirit is not upon you for, for you to understand it. So now it's sad, it's like, damn. Hey, and I remember, you know, the first, that first year, you know, when you're coming in, after, you know, you go through a couple of the first couple months, you happy and shit, like three months, and then after that, shit gets, 
vexing. You going out, you got you start checking all the labels, you realize everything has pork in it. You're like, well shit, I can't eat this. I used to eat this all the time. You used to eat that all the time. I remember when I found out the damn uh I remember when I actually found out pepperoni was pork. I didn't realize growing up my whole life, I didn't I didn't no one ever told me pepperoni was pork. I never I just simply thought it. I don't know what I don't know what the fuck I thought it was, bro. I, all I knew was pepperoni was pepperoni. I found out that I couldn't eat that. I was like, damn. You know, I stopped eating it. That's that's the sad, all right. That's the the bitter. All right, so uh, I'm gonna take you back to this revelation. Uh, Ten and uh, I'll start at uh, ten now. So we we had read verse nine. You know, he took it, he ate it, or the angel told him to take it and eat it. So verse 10, it says, And I took the little book out of the angel's hand and ate it up, and it was in my mouth sweet as honey. And as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter. All right, and that's what happened. So you first get it, you're glad. All right, then it starts to twist and turn in your stomach. All right, this is, you know, metaphorically speaking, for the knowledge, for reading these scriptures, understanding, we're going, watching the videos. <laughs> When the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahshai starts to dwell in you, your mind, all the bullshit in the world slowly flushes out from head to toe. All right, you start to put you put on new shades and you start to see the world for truly what it is. And then you get to the final stage, mad, the bitter. All right, now it's like, fuck this shit. That's why you see the men of the Lord on the highways and byways. Why? Because we're mad. We have... Oh, where is that in Psalms? Let me get this. Uh, let me pull this up. Now we get to the point where King David said this. This is Psalms. Yep. 139 and uh, 21, it says, Do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee? And am I not grieved with those that rise up against thee? Con. So, hey, now you get to the bitter. All right? Because we, we, after realizing these things, and then, you know, it wouldn't be so bad if every Israelite you gave this word to, they got it and understood, and they fall in line. But then you have these ignorant, hard-headed niggas, you tell them, Oh, nah, G. I'm a, uh, I'm a, I'm blood, nigga. I'm blood gang. That's all I know, nigga. I was, nigga, all I know is blood. You know, they don't, they don't want to understand. So that also helps fuel the anger. That helps fuel the final stage, all right? And that's what you, that's the spirit you should be in. You should be vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked, like Lot was, like the scriptures tell you, all right? And that should be your fuel to do this work, to get up out of here, to continue to look towards our city, Hebrews, what is it, 13? All right, it says we have no continuing city, meaning what? Here in this world, this is not for us. Our world is going to come when our Lord and Savior redeems us. This world is not, is full of nothing but our death. All right, you cannot become happy. There is no, you, you shouldn't be in a happy mindset. You shouldn't be, you know, at the drop of a dime, you ready to bust a, bust a little jit. At the drop of a dime, you should be ready to to put to send somebody to the heavenly Father, all right? Because of all the wickedness out here, a righteous man, like David said, he's gonna hate those that hate the heavenly Father and His Son. And we have many adversaries. You got niggas coming up against the truth, vocab Malone, or right? you got uh, other Israelites that know they're Israelites, especially you know those that hate on us here, Greg Millstone, everybody, they grandma saying we, we rape babies, you know, silly shit, silly shit, bro, absolute madness. All right, so who, who what, do, what do you look like dancing and partying? All right, you look like a fucking fool. Uh, I'm going to make sure that's it on that uh, Revelation constant. Now I'm going to get this in Jeremiah. Pull this up real quick. Jeremiah, you know, it's not going to be a long video, it's just something I was thinking all the day, you know, I got to, got to do it. Jeremiah 11 and uh, 14, 
It says, uh, oh, fuck it, I'll start at 13, even better. It says, for according to the number of thy cities were thy gods, O Judah, and according to the number of the streets of Jerusalem have ye set up altars to that shameful thing, even altars to burn incense unto Baal. When I mean, you look at our people, especially those that don't know that they're Israelites, the majority of them, if not all, are just outright idolaters. All right, outright, they worship the so-called uh, white Jesus. All right, they are they're a fucking Roman Catholic or a fucking atheist or on that Africa shit. All these things, you shouldn't be happy out here. A righteous man is not gonna be happy. Righteousness isn't executed in the earth. That should piss you off on a day to day basis. All right, and we know, uh, uh, you know, we know the scriptures. Uh, as wise as a serpent, as uh, harmless as a dove. All right. Um, um, uh, if it be at all possible, uh, if it, if it be uh, yeah, if it be at all possible, uh, live peaceably with all men. All right. You know, don't let your. Uh, and there's another one. Basically, don't let your uh, anger lead you to sin. All right. I know I'm tearing that one up, but hey. There's so much wickedness going on, you can't truly be happy here. It's not possible, not if you're righteous. A righteous man can't be happy, not in this world. Jeremiah 11 and 14. Therefore pray not thou for this people, neither lift up a cry or a prayer for them. For I will not hear them in the time that they cry unto me for their trouble. So, hey, and that's the point that once you finally get to the last stage, that's where it's at. Don't, you don't lift up a cry or a prayer for these people. All right, we went from glad to sad to now we're motherfucking mad. All right, and that's the spirit that you got to be in. I'm not telling you to walk around uh, putting haymakers on people. I'm just telling you, you know, whoever's watching, you got to be in the correct and in the right spirit. This is not, this is not the kingdom. You have to wake up and put in 40 plus hours a week. And even if you do uh, have your own job, you, hey, uh, look, having your own business is probably even more of a fucking headache because now... You got to do your own taxes. You really, really, really have to get out there and work and really have connections. Otherwise, you will fail and flop and be homeless. All right. This kingdom, this society is a, is completely contrary to the ways of the Heavenly Father. And a righteous man is going to be uh, vexed. And I'm just going to get it out of uh, Peter. Second Peter 2, and I'll start at uh, 7, and deliver just Lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked, for that righteous man dwelling among them, and seeing and hearing, vexed his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. And that's how you should be, vexed from day to fucking day. All right, Even something as simple, and the brother pointed this out to me uh, the other day, man, just you out using the public bathroom, it's not a, you. They don't even have hand dials anymore. It's a damn scanning shit. They, the, you gotta put your hand under the scanner for the water to come out. You gotta put your hand under the soap for the scanner to come out. Put your hand under the scanner for either paper towel or the blow dryer to come out. All that's doing is getting you ready, for, getting people ready for the mark of the beast. So Esau, he's just everything he does in this society is with wicked intention. You can't even get some damn soap without these motherfuckers plotting to set you up. A righteous man isn't a righteous. Man is not going to be happy here. And it shows it's a lot. It shows in your actions. All right. That's why we hear a great millstone from our apostles and our elders. We practice a very uh, stoic, serious, and uh, I can't even think of other words. Like, like no bullshit attitude and lifestyle. Don't be just not fuck clubbing and shit and partying all the goddamn time and day and shit, man. And uh, uh, getting drunk, uh, uh, driving, uh, doing what these niggas do. Want to want to rent rent cars every weekend. Go stunt, hit downtown, hit your local metro, Jordans every. Get every pair of Jordan that come out. Hey, look, if you're in that spirit, leave. If you're in that party all the time, happy, go lucky. Uh, uh, I can't even use the words. If you're not in the right spirit, man, the Lord, you're not going to be around this long. You're just simply not going to. A righteous man is vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. All right, it said it vexed Lot's righteous soul from day to day. All right, so hey, you know, I'm not going to drag this on. 
There's the, there's the glad, there's the sad, and now we're motherfucking mad. All right. And hey, if you're not in, if you're not at that final stage yet, you know, if you're, you know, Lord willing, if you studying, you know, you going through the stages, you gonna get there. But if you're not, you better pray that you hurry up and get there, cause you, this, this sure as hell ain't the time to be glad. This isn't party. Uh, we'll we'll have big Israelite parties in the kingdom. This ain't the time for a Josiah type Passover, all right. This is the time for fucking meekness, humbleness, fear, all right. Praying every day, fasting as much as possible without dying, all right. <laughs> Until we get up out of here, we will be happy again when our Lord and Savior returns. That's when the righteous will be happy, all right. When the law is laid back down in the world. All right, so with that, let me give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Al Shai Bahashem, or Kakurash, the honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace, blessings, and citations to all the Lake Ahim, Wakwatim, learning, teaching, and truth and sincerity. Then I'm going to say Shalom.